you're in the mix. SKM presents Strictly for the Music Podcast. You are now live with the number one podcast for all upcoming artists worldwide. It's the real. The real deal. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Strictly for the Music Podcast. I'm your host. Again, the next guest I got live in the rest is an artist from Never Stop Top Entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm welcome to the CEO, Nikki Slick. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. How you doing? Tell you happy dog. Thank you for coming on this podcast, bro. I've been trying to get you on here for a minute already. Yes, sir. Usually a ghost. Hell yeah, big dog. So uh give us give us a little bit of detail about your music, man. Give us like the backstory. Pretty much, I started on Rap Chat probably about two years or so uh, with a crew called NG Boys. I had uh, my homie Ken Ken two times and then Westside Chino on there, but they didn't really. Uh... Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, that's my bad. I guess I have the same problem now that it does. <laughs> Oh, you're good, dog. Hey, uh, were you? Were you uh, I couldn't hear you, big dog. I can, I can hear you now, but I don't know if you're if you're done with your uh, we're finishing what you were saying. Oh yeah, so I started on rap chat, you know, went with, through the Benji boys, and that didn't work out. Then I got introduced to, uh, what is that? The Thumbtack Warriors with Angry One and Finalize. Finalize actually helped me a lot with my music when I first started. He gave me a lot of feedback. And uh, pointers, you know, even if it's bad, it's always good to get feedback. That's what pretty much we're all here for, honestly. And then, uh, oh yeah, Bandlab. Yeah, Band Lab. I started on Band Lab about a year or so ago. And then uh, me and Finalize had Freedom Fighters going, and, you know, just shit happened. And then I split up with that and uh, started Never Stop Top Entertainment. And now it's honestly, even though I'm the CEO, it's more just like I'm. The- All right, my bad, dog. So, uh, yeah, let's 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 go right here, big dog. Um, your next, your your first single that you dropped on Band Lab, man. What was what were you going through, man? Uh, was was any of your tracks off Rap Chat that you put on Band Lab? Uh, first off, uh, for the first one I did on Band Lab, I just found uh, I think it was a Savage Gang beat. Because it was hard to find uh, beats and shit on here at first because I didn't really know anyone. Um, that one, I think, was just uh, one that I did for Band Lab. I didn't even put that one on Rap Chat or anything. But on Rap Chat, I have like 800 and something songs on there on my page alone. That's not counting collabs. And then, uh, but honestly, to me, most of my Rap Chat tra- tracks are garbage. So I'll I'll go back to like old tracks and change the verses and and make it sound more catchy and add a hook or something if there never was a hook and then it'll sound like a totally different song. Hell yeah, big dog. Hell yeah, man. So uh, how old were you when you decided you wanted to do music, man? Uh, when I was younger, I wrote poetry and stuff, and uh, through school. I never really wanted to be a rapper or anything like even now it's just a way to vent and just a way for me to like get my voice out there. Even I know some people relate to it. Even if there's haters, there's always going to be someone to hate on it. But honestly, uh, I started rapping when I was like three years ago and I'm almost 30 this year. So not very long. Hell yeah. Big dog. Hell yeah. So what? So would you say that music to you is like more like a therapeutic session for you? Yeah, like I know a lot of people in after the interviews, uh, hearing some of the members on Never Stop Top Entertainment, how they want to do videos or or get their music out there and stuff. But that's that's cool. Like I'm, I never stop anyone from doing anyone anything. You know, that's like, like I said, I'm not the CEO. I'm just a creator, honestly, and everyone else just branches off and makes it what it is. Um, but me, I'm just, I'm just here to vent and just to make music. If people like it, they like it. If they don't, it's whatever. And I love checking out music. So it's always great to try, uh, new things and listen to new things. That's what's up, man. Hell yeah, man. That's what's up. Um, 
let me ask you this, man. Um, so, so like, you never done no performances out in Oregon or nothing like that, or any talent shows? No, I never performed uh, any of my music. Honestly, I don't. I don't know if I really would. Maybe if it was like the right setup, or, or if I felt the track was good enough to to be performed. Honestly. Hell yeah, big dog. That's what's up, man. Um, uh, describe any future collabs you got going on. Like, what is 2020 holding for Nikki Slim, man? Uh, honestly, I have kind of like a routine. Most of the time, you'll see most of my music on the weekends or one random track every weekday or something. But a lot of my collabs are already on back hold. There's already a few that I have to get to and then others that, like, I don't ever, if you don't fuck with my music, I don't, I don't collab with you, honestly. So if you're just sending me collabs, it's, it's pointless. But if you're someone who messes with my music and I know you actually like know what I'm doing on the track, then uh, even if it takes a while, I'll get to the collab. That's what's up, man. Hell yeah, dog. Oh, man, do uh, you have any favorite collabs that you do so far on BandLab? Uh, I think the obvious one is not a, you know, we're like Jack one Hyde. I don't know. It's just something different when, when we make a track, you know, we talk about everything. Um, we choose who does the hook on that, that track, you know, we try to switch it up, um, keep it different for everybody. You know, um, it's honestly just like how we're vibing that day. If you send me some and it's, and it's smooth and I'm feeling it, you know, then I'll do that track. Um, otherwise, you know, I'll tell him, you know, like, let's switch it up and do something else and he'll be totally cool with this. So he's the biggest one on band lab that I've been fucking with, obviously. Um, but I, I do collabs with anybody. Like I said, as long as you mess with my music, I'll check out yours see, and we can jump on some. It doesn't matter. Hell yeah, big dog. So, uh. Describe the relationship that you and Nada got. It seems like you guys got a tight bond, and you know what I mean? You guys, you guys been writing this out for a minute already. Yeah, me and Nada, uh, our first track, I just dropped it, redropped it a little bit ago. Um, but, yeah, that that was the first one to kick it off, and we've been tight, you know, everything's on band lab, you know, I don't, I don't give out phone numbers and stuff, so... Like I said, I'm usually a ghost, so I don't talk to anybody off of off of the app or anything outside of that. And plus, we're all in different uh, states and everything, or country for that matter. But, um, you know, we're all cool. Like, even Kevrock, uh, we'll talk about life on, uh, in the DMs and shit. You know, it's not always about music. It's just, like, what people are going through and shit. That's why... Never Stop Top is a family more than a band. And that's why we make music together, because we all relate to each other in a certain way. You know, everyone's got, like, demons and twisted minds and shit they need to get off their chest. And we're all here to listen. Oh, yeah, big dog. That's what's up, man. Um, let me ask you this, man. Uh, if you could collaborate with any artist, dead or alive, who would it be and why? uh there's a lot honestly um tech nine would be obviously uh number one big inspiration tupac would be a big one um but i like a lot of different music i would i would do music with jesse reyes um billy eilish you know like i don't know there's it branches off so there's a lot of people little wayne i would do music with that would be dope as fuck so that's dope. Hell yeah. So, uh, how are you different from other artists? I think everybody's different, honestly. Um, it's just some people see an easy way to make money or see a, see a niche that works for someone and they, they copy that. But honestly, everyone's different. Yo, 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 we're back. This is Strictly for the Music Podcast. We got Nick Slim, <laughs> the artist of Never Stop Top Entertainment. So, but I uh, was was ready to ask you, big dog. Was um, what would be the best advice you should give to the youth, big dog? Uh, just be yourself. 
you know, don't follow other people. Um, I don't know. There's there's so much shit to talk about. The 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 world's crazy for sure. Just uh, watch your back, honestly. That's right. That's right. Hell yeah. So, uh, who is your music targeted towards? Uh, I fuck with my own music. I'm like on that little Wayne tip, you know, where he only fucks with his own music and a couple others. I listen to my own music. Uh, and if there are fans or people that listen to my music, that's who they're for, you know. But mainly what I base my writings off of or or my tracks off of is just obviously the things that I've gone through. And uh, I feel obvi- uh, other people can relate relate to that, even if they're n- not the same situations. Like some of my tracks are angry or like bangers or whatever you want to call them, but it doesn't mean that that's the underlying meaning of that track. It's just a catchy way for people to listen to it. Um, Cause a lot of times the more you say in a track, the less people listen. But if you got a way to flip it around, um, then usually it works in your favor. You know, I don't, I don't know. So with these apps and stuff, you don't know who's honestly showing love and stuff unless they're consistent with it, you know, but um, it's whatever. I'm, I just make my music for me, honestly. Oh yeah, bitch, that's what's up, man. Um, Favorite bar you ever spit on a track, dog? Uh, I don't think many people heard the track, but actually the track with Gator Bro- Gator Bo that me and him did our first collab that I sent him uh, was a remix to What's Poppin'. And I don't remember the line, honestly, but uh, that that whole verse that I spit on there is pretty is pretty sick. And then uh, Dante's Pit is also a track that. I la- I feel I impress myself on, but I feel each track has something unique in it, whether it's like the the way that I spit or 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 just the way it sounds. I guess I don't know, but um, there's a lot of verses that I like in my tracks, um, but that's just being like conceited. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, homie. <clears throat> um. Man, uh, so what was it like growing up, man? Uh, in Oregon, you know, it's pretty, it's honestly pretty quiet, but with my family, you know, I grew up, uh, pretty much with a single mom and a brother and a sister, and she pretty much took care of us, you know, in and out of relationships and whatnot after one of my stepdads passed away um so after that you know shit it was just like random random dudes or whatever but i always loved my mom so we just we just lived like that you know and in uh the high school that i went to like you always had like fights between uh whites and mexicans and shit but i always hung out with uh Mexicans my my or Hispanic people my my all my girlfriends were Hispanic (laughs) like oh yeah it's no no joke but uh yeah that I don't know I pretty much quiet but you know I went through a lot of ups and downs I did a lot of drugs and shit when I was younger and shit so that's pretty what much what like drives my music that's dope, man. That's dope. So, uh, man, um, so what what are your guilty pleasures? Like, what do you listen outside of hip hop? Uh, there's a lot. I listen to oldies. Uh, if you haven't heard of uh, Loca for Life, she does great uh, remixes on oldies, like how the Chicano raps rap music is. That's like. I'll listen to the actual oldies and, uh, you know, like I said, Jesse Ray is, uh, Billy Eilish, uh, Tones and I, uh, Son Real, 
there's so many artists that I listen to. It just, it doesn't matter, honestly. I'll listen to rock if I'm in the mood. Um, 21 Pilots is dope. Uh, Lincoln Park, you know, just random shit. It's just whatever mood I'm in on that day. That's dope, man. Hell yeah, man. Um, so let me ask you this, man. You've been doing music for a minute, man. Um, if you weren't doing music, what would you be doing outside of music right now? Uh, it'd probably just be, since it's a way to just vent for me, it'd probably just be back to writing and not really expressing it in any other way than that. But since these apps, you know, they are a good thing to help people express how they feel. Um, that's pretty much the best thing about them, you know. So it just was another outlet to to get things out there and express it in different ways than just on a pen and pad. Oh, yeah, dope, man, dope. Um, so uh, what are the goals in 2020 for Never Stop Top Entertainment, man? Mm, uh, my goals, I, I'm i not really sure, honestly. Uh, like I said, it's pretty much an idea. It takes a life of its own after that so um i guess get some more members you know some more hot artists that no one's heard about um and start doing some more collabs and shit but i don't know i feel like there's a lot of people unnoticed and it should be it should be a little bit different but it's whatever (laughs) that's right that's right man so what is the best advice you've been given as an artist as an artist or just in general man uh that's a hard one keep your head up i guess is a pretty simple one (laughs) yeah but (laughs) honestly forward you know yeah keep keep pushing forward but honestly there's a there's not much advice other than do what you got to do, you know, keep your, keep grinding. There's only you are in, in your way, you know, that's pretty much it. I don't know. Oh yeah. But so what uh, can we expect you to be on Spotify, Apple music, any of these larger platforms? We dog. Welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Nikki Slim back again on the line. Uh, sorry about that audience. Um, yes, sir. So bit, uh, technical difficulties, but we're going to get through this right now, all right? <laughs> well, let's get right back into this, big dog. <clears throat> all right, so uh, you were discussing about um, uh, you not being on Instagram or Twitter or none of the major platforms. Yeah, I don't I don't really do it. Um, the only time I am on YouTube, but I don't really put anything on there unless uh, I remember to, honestly. But all my shit's on the app. You know, all my shit's on Band Lab and all my shit's on Rap Chat. But all my, like I said, all my Rap Chat tracks are all old. And I feel like I it's it's even hard for me to listen to those damn things. <laughs> Hell yeah, ever since you got on Band Lab, huh? It's been like a different dimension, huh? Yeah, the Rap Chat is trash. And uh, I thought it was hilarious that they're actually charging people for the same damn features that the studio has for Band Lab. And Band Lab's free. Wow, bro. I just, see, I never knew that. I've never been on Rap Chat, but I've heard a lot of people come from Rap Chat, like you, and I know Finalize and uh, a couple other artists. But, man, um, what, what would you say that uh, the pros and cons of Band Lab, bro? Uh, the pros of Band Lab are the studio over Rap Chat Studio anyways. I'm sure there's, uh, for people who, like, understand studios and, and the technical part of the songs, uh, more than me I'm sure they have issues with it but for me like honestly I just listen to beats if I like the beat I choose it and then I record and I know how to layer my voice but other than that I don't know how to do shit so I pretty much I just pretty much hit record and 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 do what I do but uh band lab has the the cons to band lab is pretty much the same thing as probably any rap app is it's just all the spammers and all the the people who are just liking your shit just so you go to their page and like their shit. Um, it's just a, it's pretty much a game, but 
there are some people that are here just to listen and to actually like your music and you know give you feedback which is much appreciated all the time is that like one of the things that you probably hate about band lab is that people just go through your shit and just like everything without even listening to it that's yeah it's that's what me and nada we're pretty good at making tracks about that that's pretty much the biggest thing because our music honestly is is us so everything that we're talking about is us and the it's truth you know like there's there's nothing there's so what's the point of liking someone's shit when you didn't even check it out and even if you didn't like it and you just wrote like this is this is this isn't that good because of this like actual feedback instead of just saying like this is bullshit and this is trash and shit you know um it would be it would be way more it'd be beneficial for everyone if, if that's how it was but that that's definitely where a lot of our aggression comes from in some of our tracks <laughs> oh yeah man oh yeah <laughs> this uh all right big dog um you have any uh all right let me ask you this man how is your music going to evolve like can we expect to never stop top entertainment album or can we expect to can the audience look forward to a solo album with you big dog uh kind of like gator bro gator bo said i i pretty much just push him out i don't i don't really have the patience to like wait but if it was real studio with real studio time and the guys were actually there and shit yeah, we could. It, that would be probably the biggest goal for any of us is just to have a an album that we can say we made that shit and our kids can look back on that and shit, you know. And we would, it would be, I'm sure it would be fire. Dope, bro. That's dope. Um, do you have any special shout outs you want to give to the audience or to your supporters or to your whole team? Yeah, I got, there's, tons of people um finalize is a huge shout out uh nada you know you got kev rock uh king rev you got sid vicious you got black koozie uh gator bow um who am i missing rotten rabbit stoner jesse you obviously for always the support and always shouting out the tracks and you know that's the biggest thing is when people do that and you obviously always show love so i appreciate that a lot oh yeah big dog you already know all right ladies and gentlemen there you have it nikki slim never stop top entertainment this is strictly for the music podcast and we come yes sir <laughs>